Hey guys, I know I haven't made a video in quite some time, but I just bought this 2024 Honda Grom. Uh, I figured I'd make a video on it. Um, so far, I love the bike. I've had a FC09, a Fuel Blast, a Honda Shadow. I had this Cafe Racer thing that I couldn't get running, but that thing was a piece of shit anyways. So yeah, this is a little video on my 2024 Honda Grom. I got this bike brand new, it was stock. I bought it three days ago. Before I bought it, I went ahead and bought a bunch of shit for it because I was like, you know, I know I'm gonna want this stuff. So uh, let's start off with the handlebars. I got these Amazon special $33 handlebars. Um, it says pit bike instead of pro taper. Um, so it looks, you know, Amazon it's fucked but works great they're pretty sturdy I like the way it feels when I'm sitting on it it's more um broad it's a little bit lower than the stock bars but I'm okay with it completely comfortable ride when you're sitting on it and all that I deleted the original mirrors they're like super ugly they're like long and I'm pretty fat so I couldn't even see around my body to be honest so I got these little caps to um cover the holes and then i bought these like 20 dollars amazon special mirrors they work pretty good they don't um like move or anything from wind or like vibrations you hit a bump they're they're actually pretty sturdy um i was a little bit worried about that hitting bumps and them getting knocked around and always having to fix them and all that but so far so good next we have these amazon levers um, I forget how much those were. They were probably no more than $25 for both the clutch and the um, front brake. They work pretty good. I mean, they they definitely feel like they're from Amazon, but you can adjust them. Uh, and they, they work perfectly fine. They'll probably snap first time I drop the bike, but I don't really intend on dropping the bike. So that shouldn't be an issue, hopefully. Uh, also forgot to mention when i got the bars the bars came with grips and the grips aren't that bad i mean they're definitely for a small pit bike but it is what it is you know for you want cheap you get cheap the next thing that i got was this integrated tail light here let me go ahead and turn it on and i'll put a blinker on I did notice, uh, I, I plugged the old brake light back in and I did notice that the foot brake is not engaging the light. So I don't know if from factory the switch was bad because this thing was like a plug and play. So I don't know how it would ruin it. So I'm gonna have to go back to the dealership and ask them, you know, what's up with that. But it does come on with the, with the handbrake. You can hear it clicking. And with the foot brake, you don't hear the clicking so i don't know if the sensor is bad or what i also got this amazon 20 dollars fender eliminator kit um i didn't want rear blinkers that's why i got the integrated one because i think rear blinkers look ugly and the bike just looks so much better with all that shit deleted in the back i do have um turn signals to delete these and put like small turn signals i forget what they're called um they're just like flat i don't i don't know how to explain them but um that'll kind of clean the front of it up a little bit uh i took the um there was like orange reflectors right here i took those off because they looked horrible also when i was getting this bike i was going to get either the teal one or the white one but i really wanted the gold wheels so the price difference between um, was 200 bucks. So I'm looking at it like if I'm gonna want the wheels gold, I might as well just pay the 200 bucks now versus going and buying them, you know, third party or whatever. Also, it came with this, you know, it's got the uh, livery on it. So, um, yeah, I was like, screw it. I'll just pay the extra $200 and get the gold wheels that I want and the color honestly didn't really matter that much to me for the actual bike because 
also i don't know if you guys know this but the plastics for these bikes are dirt cheap it's like 110 bucks for a full plastic kit so i can just get whatever color i want but i'm probably just going to stick with this because i think the gold here goes good with the wheels and then the forks and then that's why i also got the gold levers and the little gold um mirror caps whatever you want to call those things um i do plan on getting an exhaust um i ordered a 14 tooth front sprocket i'm gonna try that out first and then maybe mess with the rear sprocket uh and then eventually down the line i want to do the cam the uh stage two tune and then the um chimera however it's said chimera um intake for this thing nothing so far about the bike that i don't like um it is a little slow but that's the fun of it i mean these are like mini motos you know you don't expect to go 100 miles an hour i think i mean i'm pretty fat so i think i top out at maybe 56 i think i got it to um i got it to 65 but that was like down a hill um overall if i can make it so it goes 65 ish maybe 70 um you know on flat ground then i'd be happy with it because then i could take it on the highway or whatever and you know not be impeding traffic but as of right now, around town cruiser, you know, 45 mile an hour zone roads, this thing's perfect. Haven't even filled it up yet. I think I put 60 miles on it. Let's see. Oh, only 45 miles. And I'm over half a tank. I think they said that these tanks get 160 MPG for the full tank. Um, I think it's like a 1.6 gallon tank. But don't quote me on that because I don't know too much about it i just wanted one went and bought it a couple of my buddies have them uh, i'm gonna be going on some grom rides here and there i'm thinking about getting a gopro to uh you know film it um also if you guys like this video and you want me to make more i don't really want to make too many more but you know i'm experimenting with uh making some videos here and there just to pass some time do a little editing you know keep life a little fun um I still have the E30. It is turboed. Um, thing fucking makes some power. I love it. Uh, I did some cool things to it uh, on the interior, like seats, harness bar. You know, I turboed it. Um, I, I, I was thinking about maybe making a little walk around video of that thing to uh, show you guys what that thing's been up to. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's it for now. I'm going to try and make some more Grom videos in the future. Um, so stay tuned.